It's time for another duct tape and paint. So today, I don't know how far I'll get, but we're gonna try. I'm going to see if I can do this. Make some curtains out of this sheet that I already have hanging up. So I'm going to take this sheet and make curtains for that window and that window. So, I don't know how to make curtains. I have an idea. I do have my sewing machine over there. Jupe. <laughs> That's hard to... So, I haven't used the sewing machine that much. I know enough to be dangerous. So, Let's see how far I get on making curtains today. And I will not be doing this right, so if any of you knows how to sew, close your eyes. <laughs> Don't scream at me through, <laughs> through the lens that I'm not doing it right. We're just going by with what I can do. Um, so it, it, I think it's gonna turn out okay if I don't get really angry and just stop. So, um, bear with me. I gotta get the material down first and then we're gonna be working down on the floor. I'll show you that in a minute. Okay, I like, uh, what I'm gonna show you first is, first, I have to measure the window and I'm measuring the inside of the window because I'm going to just have the curtain be inside the window. I'm going to get a tension rod and put there and then just have the curtain inside the window. And the great thing about the sheets is, or the sheet, is that, you know, m most of it I don't even have to sew because it's already, like, hemmed up, you know, the salvage side. And then the bottom already has a thing on it. So basically all I have to do is just do the top where it's going to fit through. Now, first, I thought I would, sorry, I'm hearing something. It may be the groundhog under the house. Um, I thought I was going to double it so you couldn't see in, but I don't have enough material if I do that to do both windows. So, um, yeah. So let me get measuring these windows because they're both different sizes. And um, that is groundhog trying to chew through the floor. Great. Um, so let me get that done. And then we'll go from there. We'll get the cutting on the sheet. Good child, this is not going to be as easy as I thought. Messing with a lot of fabric to get it to cut straight and all that. So my only saving grace is, um, and I do have like a map, but it's not very big. The only saving grace is, is this is gingham. So I can kinda, and I have the fabric folded over, so as long as it's lined up, I can cut along the gingham line to know that. So, I got it measured out, and I added two inches instead of an inch um, for the top, just so I can roll it under, and then again to make for the thing. These might not turn out as well as I thought they were going to. So, let's get started. We're probably only going to do one curtain today, if that. I'm not even for sure if the sewing machine still works. It's been a while. Okay, I'm gonna cut this. I was gonna do a rubbery cut and stuff, but my mat's not big enough, so I am gonna cut it with scissors and hope the bottom's lined up. Wish me well. Okay, all right, frustrated, don't wanna make curtains no more. So it wasn't lined up by quite a bit. Quite a bit. So now, if I cut this off, 
even to the shorter end. I don't know if I have enough fabric. I don't want to sew. I don't want to make these curtains. <laughs> See, this is where I get frustrated with this stuff, but I'm going to forge ahead and See what I can do. I'm gonna have to trim it down because one side's shorter than the other. At least I have a line to go by. I don't know how you all do this. Kudos to the sewers out there because I ain't got no patience for this. It's a different day because it took me a while to do it, but look, it turned out pretty good. Let me, let me, let's, let's just flip this around. I think it turned out pretty good. I had to also run to Walmart to get the tension rods, but I think that turned out not bad. I was getting very frustrated through the whole process, but I got her done, but it took me quite a while, so I just left last night. Now, do this window with this leftover fabric. So it's gonna look a little bit different because it's not gonna have that. Because I didn't want to sew any edges, <laughs> so I just took the whole piece of fabric. And plus it gave it some gathering so it looks good. So this one is just not gonna have the green edging on it, which I'm fine with, fine with. They'll still match-ish. So, um, let me work on this and we'll see how this window turns out. We'll see how frustrated I get with this one. Okay. Second curtain is done. Evidently, even though gingham has lines, you cannot go by those lines. Uh, I'm a little frustrated. Somehow, even the um, loop that I made to put the thing through is wrong. <laughs> and then, uh, <laughs> let's have a look at what the bottom looks like, shall we? So. Yeah, it's very, very tight at the top where I can't even hardly get that, you know, tensioned. And then we have that mess there. I'm done with this for right now. Uh, I'm just gonna fold the long parts under and we're gonna have to rip out that seam. But the bad part is, whoops, oh, my laundry's done. Um, the bad part is, if I make the top wider to where that fits in better, then the one side that is kind of short is going to be completely short. I do have some extra fat. Oh. It's going to take a minute to do this, so the curtains are done, and it'll probably stay that way for quite a while because that does not make me happy at all. I am not a happy camper. Anyways, I've got one really good curtain and one curtain that covers the window, so that's all that matters right now. So, stay tuned for the next adventure of what I'm going to be doing, which I have no idea. So, see you all in the next clip. We're back briefly at the studio. Um, I need to get some footage. I haven't been over here. I haven't been over here. I haven't been over here. I've got to start changing that. There's a lot of things i got to start changing. So, um, I think... It's really hot in here. I'm having to let it cool down. So we've got the air on. I got some lights turned on in here, trying to make it brighter. So I think what I'm gonna do is um, finish that up.
which just basically is, you know, cutting the papers and measuring them. And um, we get that done. And then I did bring my craft supplies over. So maybe I'll show putting that away. <laughs> I don't know. Um, I don't know. We'll see. I'm going to finish those and I'll bring you back in a minute. Okay. We have a problem. So there's the second. Looks good. But for that top shelf, this is all we got left. But I think what I'm going to try to do is take this home to my printer and see if I can get a copy of it made in just regular, you know, paper, printer paper, and see if I can replicate this and then stitch it together to where at least the hanging down part looks like it should. Don't know. Um, the actual paper itself, this part is textured. There's a little, you can't see it, but there's little lines in there. But being up there, nobody's going to notice. Plus, I'm going to be the only one here. I think I'm going to try that. I think I'm going to try doing the copy. And y'all, it's still hot in here. It's that type of weather that's so humid. If you move, you're going to sweat. So, there's that. Um, the curtain saga. It's still ongoing. I just left it. I haven't been here for quite a few days because that's all going to have to be ripped out and try to figure out what to do there. <laughs> I have one good curtain up, but I did, you know, just hang that up there. So that, that'll do for now. I mean, that's the way it's been. I did find a place to hang my big cutting thing. There's a nail there. So I thought that would be good since it's close to, you know, the desk. And then this is where all my supplies are gonna go. I already have some up there. This is what I brought. So this is only one bucket. I have like two, three more boxes in another room. So I'm gonna have to try to fat into here. Plus have room for sewing which I think that's gonna be fine up there. And my sewing machine always has to fit, oop, oop, focus, fit down there because that's the tallest. So um, for right now, this is my craft table. So it's gonna be sewing and crafting until I get, I want a long table, ignore the dirt and stuff I haven't swept up. Um, I wanna get a long table that goes under here that I could actually do the crafting at because there's a plug in there. Um, I think I'm going to save this. I was going to throw it away. Um, i got to get different light bulbs because I only like daylight bulbs and this is yellow. You can't tell, but it's that soft yellow crappie. It's really loose in there. I'm going to turn it over and see if I can't get it tightened up, if there's a screw or something there, because this is cast iron. This may be old. I thought it was like a target lamp or something like that, but I think this may be old. They did put a new thing on here, which has the weirdest switch to turn off and on. So this is newer. The plug-in's all right, so I'll continue using that. Um, but as you can see, it really wobbles down there. But. I think I will straighten this up and then try to find some neat lampshade at some point in time. But I just thought that was a weird switch. All my lamps are weird. I got weird lamps everywhere and they all have yellow lights. That's got to change. Um, some point in time, as I've said before, we're gonna switch this out with a bigger ceiling fan with more lights in it. So I'll have more light in here. Not that I'm gonna be over here in the dark a lot, but you know, when winter comes, it's four o'clock and it's dark. So, um, that's all I've done so far and that may be all I wanna do. 
but oh i have to cut the edge off of that one there's a little piece hanging there i gotta cut off but i think that looks really good i really like that i'm glad i got that paper and nobody bought it <laughs> thank you for not buying the paper <laughs> there's always a silver lining i guess even when you're struggling and going through things Things happen, things change, you move along. So, at some point in time, whenever circumstances change, uh, we'll be painting this room. And I am gonna paint it a color. I think I'm gonna paint it yellow. Hold on, I'm getting my paint chip. I do think I will paint this a color and I think it'll paint it. Are you gonna focus this color here? You're not gonna focus because you're a stupid camera. Um, I can't put my glasses on now, I can read it for you. This is Buttercup, Buttercup. But I think yellow in here would be nice. This is basically going to be my storage room. I'm going to put shelves all along the walls and stuff in here. And I don't know what I'm going to do about the floor. We'll figure that out later. We've got many things to do. Many things to do. So, um, this is probably the only brief little update just so I can get another duct tape and paint up there. So, yeah. Um, I think we'll call this one good. I don't think you want to see me putting away supplies. It's really going to do nothing. Plus, I'm not exactly for sure how I'm going to do them. And I may go home. <laughs> I come here for two minutes and then leave. With these great expectations, I'm going to do a lot. But it's really hot over here. I do have the air going, though. Um, I'm still really proud of those curtains. Those turned out really well. Come on, Daniel. You can do this. You can video. So those turned out well. The other ones, as you've seen, turned out really wonky. But we'll get them straightened out. We'll figure this all out. Crooked or not, we'll get her done. A little duct tape and paint. Takes care of everything. <laughs> all right, guys. So I'm going to call this episode good. I know there's not much to it at all. And I apologize for that. But, you know, is what it is. And we'll, we'll do some showing of moving things over and lining up shelves and all that stuff as we go. Um, so don't forget to hit that thumbs up, the like button. Leave a comment down below and also subscribe if you haven't subscribed. There's going to be more of these really boring duct tape and paints. At some point in time, one of these days, I'll be able to, you know, do some things once circumstances allow. So hang in there with me. We'll just do little things at a time. And I will show you the next time how the, uh, if the shelf thing turned out the paper that I try to recreate. That's what I want to go home and do that. I want to see how that turns out. So see you in the next episode. Bye.